cloud. Greetings, Athenians. This is a local Jewish Athenian. I am Misha Kahneman Taylor, and I'm here with my cousin Eva and my brother Jeremy. Shalom. And we are a, uh, have invited a group of Jewish Athenians to talk about their experiences with Hanukkah. Um, can I have everyone introduce themselves in order? Number one. I'm Carmen Tesser, and this is Abraham. my husband, Abraham. What else? <laughs> you want more? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, chime on in, babe. Who are you? Hi, I'm Rachel Murphy. I'm a physician here in Athens, and I have two daughters um, who go to Clark Middle School. Hmm. Excellent, excellent. Next. Hi, I'm Marilyn Gutman. I have three children who graduated from Clark County Public Schools and now seven grandchildren, but they're scattered around. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And just to reveal my identity further, I am <laughs> and Monica lady. <laughs> I have two children who are now in Clark Middle School. Um, my son is in seventh grade and my daughter's in sixth grade. And before that, they attended Chase Elementary School. And we have been asked by Miss Ragsdale, the music teacher at Chase Elementary School, to talk a little bit about celebrating Hanukkah and the way Jewish people do it in Athens. So my first question to the group, including my family in the background, maybe you'll be the last to answer, is when I say Hanukkah, what comes to your mind as a Jewish person? in Athens. Can I just, you know, just without thinking too much, uh, uh, Carmen or Abe, would you answer that question? Lighting Hanukkah candles with the children. Lockies, lockies, lockies. What is lockie? What, that's a weird word. What is that? It's a fried potato um, delicacy that you have on Hanukkah. Okay, awesome. Anything else come to mind, Rachel? Uh, dreidels, um, playing the dreidel game, and lighting the menorah, and singing Hanukkah songs. Mm, so nice. And Marilyn, is there anything left out? Anything else? <laughs> I think they covered it all. No. No? <laughs> no, you forgot about the most important part. What? The present. Oh! Eight, nine, oh, nine, I guess so. The guilt, <laughs> the chocolate, the presents, yep. the toys. Come on. So, Come on. Nice. Oren, would you say hi? No? Okay. Oren's a teenager and doesn't want to say hi. Um, anything else? Can we say sweet Johnny Oates? I don't know. Oh, no. What is she not. saying? What? The good one. Donuts. Oh, donuts. Donuts. oh yeah. yeah. In Israel, in Israel, they eat donuts with jelly inside. Mm -hmm. And the reason they eat them is because they are fried in oil. And Hanukkah is the story of the miracle of the oil. So Abraham likes the potato pancakes because they're fried in oil. Yeah. And in Israel, they like the donuts or sufganiyot that are fried in oil. Mm -hmm. my, um, my dog is asking me, what do you mean? And this is where Marilyn, I think it would be fun if we all said in one sentence what we think we celebrate. Oh, here comes my husband, Jason, to add to the party. Jason, what do you think, what do you know about Hanukkah? Why do we celebrate Hanukkah? Do you know? Just one answer. It doesn't have to be right. It's even more funny if it's not right. The miracle of the temple. The miracle Good. of the temple. Okay. Wow. Um, Rachel. Like an honorary Jew, am I? Yeah. Rachel, what do you think the story of Hanukkah is? Um, yes, the, the miracle that we celebrated, why the, um, the, candle i can't remember what it's called right now the eternal light lasted for eight nights when it was only supposed to last for one night so then explain to me marilyn why this menorah when i count it it has one two three four five a bigger one in the middle six seven eight nine candles what does it mean that's a great question well we put in one candle the first night but then we need a helper candle to light that candle. So that one in the middle is called the helper candle or the shamash. And the second night we light two candles plus the helper candle. 
The third night, we light three candles plus the help, helper candle. And then we go on until all eight nights when we have all eight nights lit and the helper candle. So that candle lights all the other candles. Abe, is there a name you call this helper candle? The you, Shamus. Shamus. And do you know which direction? Is there a direction you're supposed to do it in? Ah. <laughs> Do you know? Well, I tell them about Shammai and uh, yeah, Shammai and Hillel had a fight about this. Oh, well, what? not about the direction. <laughs> no, not about the direction. Not so about the direction. Type? About yeah. how many candles? Um, hmm. You start on the right. My right. No, uh, oh, well, on the right. Yeah. <laughs> so you put the first candle in on the right, and you go all the way over to the left. Carmen mm -hmm. and Abe, do you want to explain the uh, debate between Hillel and Shammai, or do you want me to explain it? Okay. <laughs> well, the debate was whether you were supposed to light all of the candles mm -hmm. and take one out. Oh. That was Shammai. Hillel said, no, you light one each night, and the last night they're all lit. Mm. Oh. And, yes. Interesting. So, and Hillel was a mensch. And he won the debate. <laughs> That's what we've been told. <laughs> well, you know, he, he said, you don't want to take away from your joy. And if you light all eight the first night, then the second night you're only lighting seven. So you're taking something away. And Hillel's saying, we want to add to the joy. So we start out with one and then work up to eight. That makes sense. Now, oh, I, I'm going to sing the song that we sing, I think. I have not practiced. <laughs> Which song would that be? Oh, my brother has another one. My no. brother. Oh, is that the song? No. Oh, you're gonna sing the prayer. Yeah. Oh, go, go for it. Oh, okay, okay. I was I was gonna uh, light. I don't have a light, but it's better. We're not lighting yet. It's not Hanukkah yet. But uh, now I know I would light this one, and then I would add to my joy every night, and this helper would help me. Oh, there's a latke oven mitt coming into the picture. <laughs> And I would light it and I would say, Baruch Adonai. You can join me if you would like. Eloheinu melech ha'olam. Asher kirkan v'nitvota. V'tivaru lehanim. Shalem Amen. Amen. The real question is, how do you spell Hanukkah? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh yes. How do you spell Hanukkah, Rachel? I spell Hanukkah, well, it depends what I'm spelling it for, but lately I've been spelling it H-A-N-U-K-K-A-H. Any way I spell Hanukkah, it always has eight letters. No matter how I spell it, it always has eight letters. The other way I spell it is C H A N U K A H. I like how it is on my box. Oh no, that's doesn't not have it end with that A. That's what do you have on your box. No, it's on my box. It says C H A N U K A. No mm -hmm. H. No H on the end. Yeah. Go yeah. On. Well, guess what? Did you know what? There's no wrong way to spell it because it's not yeah. even an it's not even an English word. There's a way to spell it in Hebrew, but English, however you want. <laughs> what does your shirt say, Misha? Can you get? Can you read it? Can anyone read it? Georgia Bulldogs. You got it. It's Hebrew. <laughs> These are Hebrew letters, Did and it's backwards. Israel? Georgia Bull Bulldog. I think so. Bulldogim. Bulldogim. Yeah, Bulldogim. <laughs> plural. You're right. Yeah, I got it in Israel at the in the Sukh, you yeah. know, like in Jerusalem. Um, I ha here's a question. So do you have a favorite Hanukkah memory that you can share? Mm. I think it's wonderful when you have lots of children around the candles and each one gets a turn to light one of the candles. The lighting is so beautiful because usually it's at night and it's dim and the candles just glow on the faces of the children and it's a beautiful sight uh, and a circumstance to find yourself in. Mm. Mm. Marilyn, do you have a favorite memory? 
I remember when I got ice skates for Hanukkah, <laughs> but I didn't live in Georgia. <laughs> How about you, Rachel? Um, I remember we would light the menorah when I was growing up. And as soon as we would finish lighting the menorah, my dad would always want to start singing Ma'ot Sur, which is a traditional Hanukkah song, Rock of Ages. And me and my sister were so impatient. We did not want to sing that song. We just wanted to rush <laughs> to open our presents. But now all I want to do is learn that song and sing that song. And I feel like that just reminds me of my dad and wanting to learn that song when, you know, we were little and not rush to open presents because the presents are always going to be there. No, you have to rush to open the presents. <laughs> <laughs> the presents are why we celebrate. <laughs> my favorite Hanukkah memory is when my stepfather bought me a tauntaun for Hanukkah in 1981. What's a tauntaun? What's that? Tauntaun. It's yeah. the creature that Luke and Han rode on in the Empire Strikes Back. Oh, and <laughs> <laughs> oh I Who see. Who we got on this chat anyway? Very nice. <laughs> Do you have a favorite memory, Eva? Um, I would agree that the, the candles, candles are so pretty at night. Especially when you have like a lot of menorahs and you can, it's all lit for, for an hour or so and walking by them and seeing like the, it just lights up the house. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's a, not only do you see the beauty of the uh, uh, candles, but if you are doing glockes, which I brought up before, <laughs> the smell of the house no. and the sound of glockes flying in mm -hmm. the pan. It's just marvelous. Mm. Mm. So good. I agree. And you know what kids like? Mm. You're really not supposed to do any work, including homework, while those candles are lit. You're supposed <laughs> to just eat and have fun and play games. Yeah, so if you're a teacher and you're teaching with this video, please remember <laughs> that during eight nights of Hanukkah, they're not supposed to do any work. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you guys a question? There are not that many Jewish people in Athens and in the United States in general, it's a smaller number of people. And so I was wondering if there's anything you wish that non-Jewish people would know about Hanukkah that they might not know. Um, is there something on your mind that you would wanna tell uh, young people in Athens so that they're aware or that you've wished to know? Rachel, you're shaking your head, is there anything? Well, I think um, Hanukkah is often compared to Christmas because it tends to fall around the same time as Christmas. And I actually grew up in, a, in an area that was not, it didn't have a lot of Jewish people at all, kind of similar to Athens. And I think, you know, understanding that it is very special for Hanukkah to not at all be like Christmas. And we have our own holiday and it's very different than Christmas. It doesn't have to be compared to it at all. And it has its own special meaning and its own very special story. And we celebrate it for eight nights. And I think that's actually kind of unique and special and different. And I think we should embrace that and really celebrate that. Mm -mm -mm. Excellent, excellent. Anyone else have anything they wish people would know or not know? Yes. Yes? Look at all the funny things on your dreidel. Okay. You know what they are? Uh, yes, I do. They're Hebrew letters. And what do they say and what do they mean? Oh my gosh, this is a test. My, this is my brother and he's always testing me. <laughs> I, I know that uh, Shin, I know the letter Shin is there. And hey, I remember hey means half because it, I mixed the letter hey and the letter H in English to remind me that means half. And uh, Gimel, I don't remember. I remember nun means none. Wait a second. I don't know. <laughs> Help me out. For well, well, so there's there's two meanings. You're giving the meanings for when you play the game dreidel. Okay. But the letters have a meaning of their own, oh. too. They, they say something. Oh, I don't know. Tell us, Jeremy. Well, so you have the letters, which you said them right. Yeah. Okay. Gimel, nun, shin, and hey. Yeah. Right? And so if you play dreidel and you get a gimel, you get all of the the guilt or whatever's in the in the center and none you don't get any and if you get hey you get half and if you get shin you actually have to give one to the center right oh yeah but the letters mean a great miracle happened there 
and that references the miracle of the oil, which, by the way, might not be exactly what happened, but we celebrate it anyway. Um, but yeah, and then if you have, the fun thing is if you have a dreidel in Israel, it will not say a great miracle happened there. It will say a great miracle happened here. So you yeah. have to pay. I think it's pay, right? Help me out here. Which one gets replaced? Yes, yes. Is it Oh, pay? you have one. It's correct. Po. For here. Pay. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Would you take a spin? Oh, is, a spin. Yeah, so show, oh. people, spin. show people how it works. Let's see what he gets. Oh, nice. What do I get? What do I get? Gimbal, 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 gimbal. Hey. All right. That's good. That's that's the second best one. Half. I'll take it. Okay. Nice. Well, all right. So I am going to answer my own question. And I'm going to say that I want Jewish people of Athens to know that some families have uh, more than one faith in their household. And so I keep my dreidels in a candy cane box, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> Because we, in my household, my husband is uh, grew up celebrating Christmas and I grew up celebrating Hanukkah. So my kids feel very special because they get both presents and Hanukkah and Christmas. And one thing I wish my kids would know is that they don't need to get eight presents. No, they get one for Hanukkah and one for Christmas. Jeez. <laughs> I know, I know. So are there... Um, can anyone sing the Ma'otsur? I can't. Does anyone know that song, Rock of Ages? I know it, but I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> Ma'otsur, and then I can't. And then it's in the English is Rock, rock of Ages. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the English. Well, I just know that you were the Deaf Leopard version, Rock of Ages. I'm sure that's very close. Okay, so Mr. Wagsdale, who is the Hebrew, the music school teacher at the elementary, you you're in charge of expanding the musical traditions, and because we know all schools do dreidel, 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 but now you can learn the Deaf Leopard Rock of Ages song, <laughs> or it's the really not the same song. Oh, not the, the same. Deaf song. Leopard Rock of Ages is a pretty good song. Okay. But it has nothing to do with that. It's it's better if you learn the one that Marilyn was singing. Yes. Um, any other uh, memories or how are you going to celebrate Hanukkah this year? Do you think now that we're in COVID nineteen, is that going to change the way you're celebrating Hanukkah? What do you plan to do? Um, maybe I'll start with Carmen and Abe. Uh oh, did they freeze? Maybe they're frozen. So I'll start with Rachel. Um, well, so my sister lives um, in a different state, and I think what we'll probably do is celebrate by lighting the candles together. We're lucky enough to have my parents live here in Athens, so um, we might do some kind of remote Zoom candle lighting at some point. We've also decided to do a gift exchange between cousins and adults. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And then we'll share it over Zoom. I think that's an amazing technology that we have. And we can do candle lighting yeah. with family members all over the country and all different times and really embrace that technology with all of our, you know, family and loved ones. That's, that's so cool. Doing. How about you, yeah. Marilyn? What are you going to do for Hanukkah this year? I'm sure we'll be Zooming with our children and grandchildren. We have mm -hmm. uh, five in New York. Well, our kids plus five grandkids in New York and two in Atlanta, so we'll all Zoom together. Mm, very mm -hmm. nice. Avon, Carmen, gonna Zoom? Well, gonna, can, can you hear us? <laughs> yeah. We're going to Zoom, and if, we're gonna have two Zoom meetings. We've never been able to get all <laughs> 10 grandchildren and four couples together for Hanukkah. Anyway. So we're going to have two Zoom meetings and they're going to drop in. And so we're going to have fun. Oh, that's great. So if you, you might be eating okay. some potato latkes that you make, you might be yes. lighting some lights or playing some dreidel or eating some jelly donuts. Or, and if you haven't done any of those things, you can easily try some of those tasty things by going to Dunkin' Donuts or Trader Joe's where they sell all that yummy stuff. 
Um, I wanted to share one last thing. This is a very ancient menorah and it was my grandfather's and he had it in Germany with him before he immigrated to the United States. And it's so wow. pretty. And the only problem is that the candles, it doesn't stay up and I need somebody to help me solder it up, I think. And these candles are, they used to be so small that no candle, it, they, they just don't fit in any of the holes. But I wanted to share that uh, mm -hmm. tradition of passing on the menorahs. And I learned from my brother, Jeremy, that he got me a special present. That's right. Year. What is it, Jeremy? An RBG menorah on the way in the mail. Hopefully it will be here. Oh, oh wow. bravo. Wow. Go. So we celebrate 2020 and we also remember uh, Jewish people who've passed away and the Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away this year and she's a heroine of mine, a Jewish heroine and a, an American hero. And so I get to remember her now every year with a RBG menorah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank Jewish people from Athens, all of you for coming, Carmen and Abe, Rachel, Marilyn, my brother Jeremy, my cousin Eva for joining us today and sharing a little bit of our traditions. And I'm going to send you off with Oh Hanukkah, Oh Hanukkah, so that everybody can hear that song. And and he will, Jeremy will do a dance with the mitt. I will not. Well, I will do the mitt. We'll dance. You can follow. <laughs> feel free to join me for a Zoom. Uh, Zoom isn't so good with singing, it seems, but we can try. <laughs> oh, Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light, light the menorah. Let's have a party. A party. Oh, that's the whole, the whole world. World. We'll end it there because it's just impossible to sing in Zoom. And nobody remembers the rest of the lyrics anyway. Oh, I do. <laughs> uh, sure, then keep going. Gather round the oh, table, yeah. oh. give you a treat. Treat. Sivivon to play oh. with and lot keys to, to eat. eat. And while we oh, are dancing, dancing. The candles, the candles are burning bright. bright. One for each day, shed a smile to remind us of days long ago. Ooh. And it keeps going. I should not question her. Don't. No, no, no. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Mwah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Bye. 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 Bye.